Hello everyone, my name is Tawanda and I want to welcome you to my craft nook. It brings me such excitement to be able to upload and share my first video with everyone today. I recently purchased the Epson SureColor F570. Let me zoom over here and let you see it. Uh, say hello to my little friend. I love this printer y'all, it prints 24 inches wide, man. Um, so yeah, when I got it and I was doing my research, one of the things I noticed is people were having a hard time finding the correct setting to print, you know, to get the best vibrant print that they could for their, their product they're pressing to. So I tested a couple and I want to show you all the one that I came up with that was best for myself. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to show you some samples of other ones that I tested as well. And I'll end with the actual one that I prefer which is the one that we're gonna be doing right now. Okay, so what you wanna do, and this is in Photoshop, you wanna go up here and go to File, and you wanna hit Print. And my computer is a little bit slow, so I apologize, but I did wanna help out. All right, up here, you'll see that I have my printer selected. It's the SCF500 series, and it's on my network to print wirelessly. Right here where it says color handling, you definitely want to have it where the printer manages colors. Under my rendering intent, I have it set to relative colorimetric. Also, I'm going to be changing the size of the paper that's printing to because we don't want to keep all that excess paper right there because it'll just print that and that's just paper wasted. So we're going to do that as well. We're going to go into our print settings. All right, we got our little box that popped up. And first things first, we're gonna go in here and I'm gonna change this paper size because I don't wanna forget that. So in here, you're gonna see where it says paper size, user defined, custom paper size. This is what I wanna click, excuse me, output size, user defined, custom paper size. It's in millimeters. I'm gonna change it to inches because that's what I relate to. The width of my document is about 17 inches and although this says that it's 16 inches in height, I'm going to change it to 12 because I don't want to waste that excess paper. I'm going to click OK and then we're going to move along to the settings. You want to click on simple settings and you want to print with high quality. Once you do that, I always go back and just double check everything, make sure I got my paper size set right, bam, it's there. And then you wanna hit okay. Verify everything's there the same. Oh, wait, see, I noticed it didn't change something. My paper size here did not change. It's going to print with that excess paper. There it is, it finally changed. One of the cool things about Photoshop is this. See this little toolbar here? You grab this and you just slide this document around and you place it there and now it's where I need it to be and I'm not wasting a lot of paper. If I were actually gonna go and print it, I would probably honestly go and take another inch off of it just to save, save, save. I'm very frugal, I don't like to waste. However, there you go and you would hit print and it would go to the printer and it would come on out. So what I did is I pressed it. I pressed quite a few different settings. I'm gonna stand up so you can see really well. I did where Photoshop manages the colors and I used the setting in there that said instant color matching where I went and selected simple settings. There's one that says instant color matching. This is how it came out when Photoshop managed the colors. It was okay. Hmm. Then I changed it and said, hey, we'll let the printer manage the colors. And again, it was okay, it's pretty, but you know, it's okay. Then I decided to try one that said, um, I cut it off at the top, y'all, huh? But it says printer manages color, no color management. So this is me going across on the color chart showing you. And y'all, I actually like the, the depth of the color that came through, but it was nowhere near the correct colors, but the clarity was awesome, awesome sauce. And then we come to the one that I actually chose, which is printer, manages color, simple settings. 
here's your whole color your rgb chart <laughs> rgb chart and look at this vibrancy y'all look at that i love it and this is the one i chose and i'm going to play with the settings just a little bit more to see how i can find a setting that prints with this quality but this clarity and once i find it i'll be back with another video to share with you all thanks so much for taking your time with me today hope this helps someone if you have any questions you know let me know and like and subscribe i would love to have you all here i'm a i do a lot of things and i plan to start sharing so much more with everyone and you all just have a great day and be safe everyone Bye bye